Welcome back guys to another video and this week's video I get a chance to talk about a uh, movie franchise that I really really enjoy and I've, I've touched base a little bit about it on this channel but as of November 3rd Godzilla turns 60 years old and wow it's it's really hard to believe that this franchise has been around as long as it has and I thought what better way for me to talk about some Godzilla memories some of my memories that being introduced to Godzilla and when I think about Godzilla my first introduction to the king of monsters I was probably around like six or seven years old and I would always go and visit my dad on the weekends and uh, we would watch a lot of movies we'd watch a lot of horror movies I'm talking about this is when I was introduced to Nightmare on Elm Street Friday the 13th Halloween Pumpkinhead that's the first time I ever watched Pumpkinhead and uh, <laughs> it's it, it, I shouldn't have been watching these movies when I was a kid but I mean it was my mom that had to deal with the weak uh, nightmares <laughs> after watching those but there was one movie that we did get to watch and I'm gonna be very modest here and say that I had a very uh, minimal obsession with monster movies and dinosaurs and I remember it was our usual movie time we sat down and we would always watch a movie before uh, he would watch like NASCAR watch the races and he put in a VHS of Godzilla 1985 and what a great way to be introduced to Godzilla because that's still one of my favorite movies of all time I I absolutely love it but honestly it wasn't Godzilla himself that made me start to get uh, you know uh, drawn to this it was a little cartoon they showed before they showed the movie and uh, you guys are looking at it right now uh, it's actually Bambi Bambi's like sitting there eating some dandelions or uh, little plants or something like that and out of nowhere boom Godzilla stomps the living hell out of Bambi and you would think something like that would have really freaked me out as a kid. It kind of disturbed me, but it didn't. I, I saw that and I was like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. <laughs> I was like six or seven. I'm like, I'm watching something adult. This is, this is kind of cool. But after that little cartoon, they, they finally started the movie and I finally got to see Godzilla. And wow, I, it was such a religious moment, I could honestly say, and seeing that giant dinosaur, uh, you know, monster taking over the city and just plowing through buildings and the military trying to take him down, and he just had this larger than life persona about him. It, it automatically made me a fan, and at that point, I was a Godzilla fan. I was like, I like Godzilla, and I, I remember going to Toys R Us, and my grandpa actually bought me this this big Godzilla toy. It was probably like this big, and uh, I wish I still had him. Actually, I I don't I don't know what happened to him, but um, I, I was I was definitely that was like my security blanket right there. I, I carried that thing everywhere, and wow. Uh, I started realizing they were showing Godzilla movies really early in the mornings um, on just normal television. So I'd get up really early in the mornings and watch some Godzilla movies. But there was one cable television station that did have a lot of Godzilla love. And that was TNT. TNT would have a 24-hour marathon of Godzilla movies. And that's when I saw the very first Godzilla that was made in 1954. And... You know, going from the 1985 movie to the 1954 movie, you would think it would be uh, very different, and you would think that I wouldn't appreciate it as much uh, due to the technology leap and being a lot younger back then, but that one honestly scared me. And now maybe it was the grainy black and white uh, atmosphere that it had and the, the very tense and little uh, hints of Godzilla until you finally got to see him. Maybe it was that. I don't know, but it, it kind of had this weird, eerie feeling when I watched that movie, and I still loved it. I was a little scared, just a little bit, but I still loved it. And, you know, over the years, I would watch more Godzilla movies like uh, Final Wars, and, oh man, uh, there's just so many of them. And, I, you know, recently they did make a Godzilla movie, a, a new one in 2014, and. It's kind of a mixed bag. Now, I'm going to have a link on the description below because I actually made a first impressions 
of Godzilla 2014 when I went to go see that, and I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this movie, and I think it's just because I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Maybe I'm looking through it through rose-tinted glasses, but... I, I thought it was everything I would want in a Godzilla movie. It had a lot of symbolism and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people didn't like the movie. And that's okay. Everyone has opinions. Uh, I don't hold it against anyone that didn't like the movie. Because a lot of people, they were, when they were seeing it, they were expecting to see Destroy All Monsters. They were expecting to see a lot of action. Uh, they were expecting a Pacific Rim movie. Which is it's totally different. Pacific Rim is totally different than Godzilla. But... You know, they are going to make this into a trilogy, and I'm thinking that maybe when the second Godzilla movie comes out, that it will kind of uh, have a little bit more action to it, because the first uh, Godzilla movie was kind of an introduction, you know, so maybe the, the second one, having Rodan, Mothra, and the talks of Ghidra, that uh, having more recognizable Toho monsters... Um, it, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun, and it sucks. We have to wait to 2018 to see this uh, sequel, but I, I'm really looking forward to it, and of course, I, I also want to mention uh, a new Godzilla video game that's coming out in uh, December in Japan by Bandai uh, Namco, and I, man, I am looking forward to it so much. I'm actually importing it, and I've always been a fan of the later Godzilla video games. I even did a review of uh, Godzilla Save the Earth on my channel as well. I mean, I'm just a huge huge Godzilla fan. I love all the Japanese kaiju movies and like Ultraman and stuff like that, which I could get into a whole new video about Ultraman. But anyway, guys, I wanted to make this video and talk about my memories of Godzilla and happy 60 years, man. Jeez. You don't look a, a day over, day over uh, 20. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me some of your favorite Godzilla movies. Tell me your favorite monsters. Are you a Rodan fan? Mothra? You like Godzilla? Ghidra? Uh, Jet Jaguar? <laughs> you know? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, happy gaming.